In this episode, we're going to talk micromill electronics. Let's jump into it. Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I just want to do a brief episode to talk about the electronics. Now, in the last episode, I kind of covered out. I had gotten everything set up, the motor mounts, everything wired, it's moving. Um, now I've actually wired in the motor to the controller. Now, one of the pieces with this board, you do have to change it to CNC from laser, so it actually triggers this relay. Now, I'm using a 10 amp, 12 volt power supply. Now, the power supply that comes with this to run the motor is 12 volts, 3 amps, so plenty of power here. Um, now, one of the things also keep in mind, there's two power inputs for this. The motor power uh, comes in via this plug right here. Now what I've uh, used is a repurposed HP laptop plug here and then just brought in another line from another switched port on the power supply to power the motor at 12 volts and here is the output. Now little uh, tip this is polarized and so what I've done is I've actually put a little uh, red tag on the hot so I can kind of keep track of it pretty easy so a little bonus tip and the other piece I do here is you notice I put a little piece of heat shrink also on there to keep the uh, wire from fraying too far back so a couple little bonus pointers um, now with this everything seems to be working well with this I've got the heat sinks on the ramps the ramps are tuned uh, once you uh, power this up, you'll get one LED for the USB being plugged in. The logic is powered by the uh, USB. Uh, the second LED is actually the 12 volt power from this plug. Uh, now there is a green LED and I'll show you it in a minute uh, when I activate the motor. So this relay engages the motor. It's a you know M04 S1000 will activate it and M05 deactivates it works pretty good uh, we have the ports over here for the three axes it does have a cloned Y um, because you can run it for a you know a, a dual where you have a dual Y with belt drive on both sides I'm not doing that I just have the three motors over here so this is actually pretty good deal the other piece I want to show you guys I whipped up in fusion 360 a mounting board so I'm using actually nylon standoffs here and then I'm using a wedge uh, to mount into the dovetail in the back so this will actually mount on the back here and snug everything in so it'll be really tight as far as wiring goes and I, I used M3s and uh, in Fusion 360 what I did is I just um, put threads in here works great I put some holes in here just to cut down on plastic usage and also air circulation and it sits far enough off here I really shouldn't have a heat problem. So, so far everything's going good. One of the things I'll do a quick a quick demo and show you the M4 and so you can see this thing actually does run. So boom, you can hear it running. Uh, this thing is geared down so it's, it's probably like a 10 to 1 gear ratio. So this thing develops a lot of torque but I'll talk about that in a future episode. The other piece is now notice we have a green light showing our spindles engaged and running. And then all we have to do is issue an M05 to turn it off. All right, now you see that it's off, light's gone. And so anyways, just kind of wanted to share this. I'll have links below to all the parts I've used to uh, assemble this. Um, I've got a couple challenges. I, I've set up the uh, configuration or started to with Garble. So I had to do a, a dollar sign three equals seven to invert all the masks for the motors. Um, I've set uh, 100 through 103, I think, to be 17 or 1900. I'm not sure yet. I haven't got that finely tuned yet uh, because I am running into some problems with these lead screws because they're really not pinned. Um, so they, they, they want to wobble inside of here. So I'm not sure quite yet how I'm going to deal with that. I think I'm going to probably have to make um, some new... Uh, push-pull sections here uh, this does work but the precision over a long haul if I if I rack the bed all the way this way and back that way uh, I lose a couple millimeters and, and again it's because the screw keeps tipping and, and binding on the motor a bit so I got a little bit more work to go there but again this is absolutely working and I'm really geek that uh, 
you know, I was able to design everything from the ground up, you know, from scratch to make this work. So anyways, if you found this interesting, definitely give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget the bell icon over there, which means go down and hit that bell. Make sure you're a subscriber. Swag Shop's up there. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. And we'll see you guys in the next video where we do something else cool. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.